Hi, I want to provide an introduction to this chapter four content on consumer choice. And here's the perspective. You've got a consumer who's walking into a store. And what we're trying to do in this consumer choice chapter is determine what do they leave the store with. So there are two main important things to keep in mind. First is what can the consumer afford? What are their affordable bundles? Because we assume that they can't borrow money. You can only spend the money that you have. So you're limited by your budget. So we'll talk about budget constraints in this chapter. We'll also talk about preferences. What do consumers like? What makes them happy? So we'll talk about, make some assumptions about these preferences. And so combined what you like with and what you can afford, we can say here is the consumer's best or optimal bundle. We'll reflect both of these preferences and budgets on a graph. So here are the topics at hand in this chapter. Preferences. And we'll talk about preferences and the properties that people like of what their bundles that they prefer. Utility is another topic we will discuss. And utility is a measure of someone's happiness or evaluation of the potential bundles. A budget constraint of course combines both prices and your income to show you what affordable bundles are available to you and finally we have constrained consumer choice and what is this this just means consumers try to maximize their pleasure subject to the constraint that they're limited or restricted by this affordable set which is comprised of both the prices prevailing prices along with their income so hey a lot of fun stuff in this chapter. I'm glad you are here to learn about the affordable bundles and constrained consumer choices and consumer optimization. So, uh, hey, you're in for a good time. Enjoy and uh, watch the videos. They should help you understand the material.